Okay, so in the video, guys, you can see that I have started from the home again. Uh, if I get the perfect gear, you know we get a PR, and I'll ask you the time and date. Uh, I chose to put it on Monday, which is the actual day it is. I uh, recorded this on. So, moving on, as you can see, we're about to leave and go to the professor's lab. You get to the professor's lab and you get to decide which startup Pokemon you want to choose. Either Cyndaquil, Turtle, or Chikorita. We've got Fire, Water, and Grass. But before that, he gets a email from Mr. Pokemon who has discovered something. No, not to spoil it, but it's just a standard Pokemon egg which is where you get given like one that you can hack yourself. So at this point, he's like, uh, Do you want to go out in my place? Do you want to go find Mr. Pokemon and get me? the research and bring it back to me, I'll let you have one of the Pokemon, please keep on. I picked Turtle. I don't name him anything, I keep him as Turtle. And uh, he then talks to you and says, uh, if the Pokemon's house is not too far away from where we are, it's a direct route through Cherry Grove, and then straight up through Route 30. And uh, he gives you a phone number just in case there's any issues or complications, and uh, he sends you on your way. I show you what Pokemon I've got, Turtle, I show you the stats, Quick basics, more of a physical attacker than a special attacker, and then you get stopped by Professor Elm, the system who gives you a potion, and you then leave to pursue collecting the egg. On the way, you can battle Pokemon. I encounter three Pokemon in this route, uh, no, four Pokemon in this route, I believe. Uh, two PGs, one Rattata, and a Centaur. First PG, I do my usual strategy of lead, and then scratch, and then scratch. He gives a tackle, that's two damage. Oh, you scratch, that's about half damage. Oh, more than half damage. Lovely. So then moving on, he gets to do a attack, take two damage off of me, and I do scratch, and I move on to continue my journey. The next Pokemon I can, I believe, is a rat attack, I believe. But I go to the top right corner of this route to acquire a item known as a potion. Which heal 20 hit points, here, just like the item that you were given as you left the person on that lab. Once again, I have encountered Pokemon. It is a Pidgey, not a Rattata, but it was a Rattata. Pidgey, who is a normal flying type, which is pretty sort of quite useful once it learns a flying move, such as Gust, or Wing Attack, or Area Legs, which it learns through its evolution. So I beat it, gain 15 experience, and move on. Next, I encounter a Rattata, and he's Three steps from the previous encounter. Level two, so I thought let's try and be cocky and use scratch. See how much it does, it does half the egg. I'm like, okay, it's good, it does tell it to have done anything physical, but it still didn't land its attack. So I move on and I find that I am now level six. Going quite nicely there. Moving on, I get to here and I stop because this is a route you can catch Geodude, Fancy, and Spear One if you need to. Moving on, I encounter one last Pokemon before gathering a berry at the tree just at the top of the screen. It's a Sentrich, so I use my Leer strategy. Lowering its defense and going in with a swift attack. <coughs> Moving on, the Sentrich attacks and does decent damage. Lucky for me, it doesn't do enough damage to activate the berry that each starter Pokemon has as I do a quick hit. So I gain the experience, pick up the berry, and head into town. Once I get into the town, you'll notice there's a strange old man standing at the entrance. He will ask you to ask you if you're a rookie trainer and he's like, oh, I'll show you around. So he shows you the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon, the exit to the exit in towards the 30 and then the sea and then to his house. So there's Route 30 there and once he reaches the sea he then begins to walk back towards the town area and stops in front of the house. He says, thank you for coming on this lovely world. Here is a card, a map card, which you put into your pocket gear, so now you have a town map for a electronic version. What I advise you do is now go to the Pokemon Center and acquire some more potions if you might need them. Gather a few anecdotes, as there are Weedles on this route that can poison you, and a paralyze and awaken in just in case you need them, later on in the game. You can find a lot of these items on the floor. So after doing that, I then exit, get the Pokemon Center heal up my Totodial, and that will be the end of the video. Pretty much. So I will now begin to walk left and right as I am doing post commentary, not pre commentary. So I go left and right, so uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, part two will be up very soon.
Okay, bye.